afternoon folks and welcome back to the channel and as you can see we are on the triumph today this is the pre-adventure test ride uh, just make sure everything's all right before we go on the tour uh, so without further ado uh, let's get on the road we're just going to head a few miles in a loop tour uh, over Woodhead over at Reservoir and back through Homeforth and uh, just put this bike through its paces it's the first time we've got the panniers on the bike fully or fixed bayonets as we should say uh, so let's get on the road and uh, we'll see you in a minute after the intro so we just thought we'd take the bike up uh, over the pass and uh, load her up a little bit take her through the twisties just get a feel of the bike before we start on our epic adventure starting next weekend so uh, yeah just a chance to open it up a little bit because i've not really done a lot of miles on the bike since purchasing this so again i just want to get a good feel of the bike there's something else i noticed as well i've got cruise control on this so We'll test that out in a bit. So the first thing I've noticed already uh, on this bike, and I'm never going to compare it to the 48, there's just no point because it's chalk and cheese, two completely different bikes. This has got its purpose and so has the Sportster. And I'll never fall out of love with the way the Sportster is, it's shit suspension you know, or the weight rides, because that is its intended purpose and it is a whole ball of fun, but this beast is a completely different ride, so we're never going to compare it. Uh, I'm just going to sort of go over its good points and any points I find a little bit, you know, niggly that bother me on it, you know, so... But after putting a couple of hundred miles on the bike now, one thing I can say is I'm settling into the riding position I could probably, maybe, do with the bars being on another two inch rise. It's something I'll find out after I've done the next thousand mile on it, whether that's something I need to do, because I feel that even though I'm sitting forward on the seat and I'm in the upright position, it's just, I still feel like I'm leaning forward a tad, and just to bring them up a little bit here, it would take a little bit of load off on, on my back, on my shoulders. But we'll see how that goes, because it is still comfortable. But it certainly loves the bends and what I can't get in my head is this thick gear it just seems to want to do everything in six I mean all right you can knock down fourth now a little bit of back brake swing it around the corner and this thing just it just dives into the bends the balance on it is ridiculous you know it just really feels so stable and uh, yeah, that's something that it, you don't have to get used to it it's there straight away the hell of a wind today so there'll be no drone flying uh, so we're going to head down now take a left turn and here's the other thing i find niggly with this triumph but you can live with it is the indicator i've got it set on auto cancel so it should cancel off in a minute he says there you go but the position of it if you've got weight on the bar slightly turn it to the left if you find it hard to reach over if you pull in like that then you've got to lean over it it sort of throws you a little bit but again it's it's something it's irrelevant really and i'm sure i can maybe just turn the bar up slightly uh, the controls just to compensate for that but anyway so next weekend is the start of our adventure so we're going to go up to scotland We've got a hotel the first night, we've got a ferry the next morning over to the Isle of Mull. We're going to wild camp over in the Isle of Mull, tour over there and come back to the mainland and head over to the west coast and head up towards Apple Cross over the pass, a little bit up to Torridon, west coast, and back down towards uh, Loch Ness that night. We've got a hotel at Loch Ness and then back down to Central Highland and then a little bit of lowland then on the way back so we've got a complete loop tour so uh, we've got wild camping going on as well so we're not just uh, staying at the hotels we've got a couple of nights wild camping and a night at a sort of semi-wild campsite as well further south so 
we're going to capture all of that just for you guys and it's the first time going on tour on an adventure bike for Alcomoto so it's going to be uh, complete new for me and uh, we just got a little bit of rain in the air now and uh, I've not got my waterproofs on I've got my new textile jacket by the way which is uh, doing its job I've got the liner out because it is quite warm at the moment it's the Sparta Tucson jacket which is uh, sort of three in one waterproof rabbit baby rabbit baby rabbit <coughs> uh, with a zip out liner waterproof liner and it uh, it's needed for the job and it saves on carrying extra clothing and whatever you jackets in the luggage uh, there's a left turn so you got to reach just to do that left switch it did say 40% of showers and you know me I always seem to find them well they always seem to find me I was going to go off cam there and use the other camera but uh, it's quite windy so we'll stick with this one I love those DRLs on the front of that, it's got a really good stance really purposeful, meaningful, mean front end so there we go with the bags on, there's the YouTube Alcomoto with the Highland Fling stickers on from last year 2021 and 2020 respectively and my new Alcomoto stickers so once I get some uh, extra ones of those printed up, if anyone would like one of them, then uh, please hit me up. Uh, so there we go. The full tour pack ready for the adventure. Okay, so let's uh, jump back on the bike. And uh, I don't think we'll be staying long, but we'll just go back down to the reservoir. And uh, show you guys that little gem close to home that we have here, if you've not seen it before. And uh, somewhere in the back catalogue I've got a couple of vids have been down here on the 48 and one with the, the drone over the reservoir tell you what it really is really is getting windy up here at the moment Just a left turn here. It's a good test for the bike because it's in some ways similar to the, the roads and scenery we're going to be touring on for the next week shortly. This is Winds Car Reservoir. Well, the sailing boats. Yeah, that wind whistling through my lid. <sighs> there you go. That's the first time I've been standing up on my Triumph. Ready for some off-road fun. Look at all these geese here. Popular place is this. Especially for the ducks, they seem to like it anyway. Uh, someone's left a shoe. Cinderella.
is Windscar Reservoir. Just one of those happy little places. At least you can stand up and get a good view of what's down there, can't you? That's going to be uh, a bonus, I think, for some of the places I'm going. Give me the bird's eye view. Okay, so. Bit of a shower in the air, some rain coming down, but we're going to have to get used to that. I think the beauty as well of having the windscreen is I have noticed I can ride with the visor up as well and not getting the wind blast in my face so as long as you've got a pair of shades on underneath you're not going to wasp in your eye um, yeah that's that's a mega bonus just to get the extra fresh air in and you can obviously lower the screen down a bit but I've just set my camera for the sort of rear facing selfie view so I can just lower it more or less to the bottom without the camera hitting the top of the screen so it's just just works out perfect for me so I hope you guys have got a decent view and a different view as well to what you normally have because on the Harley I wonder where that road goes I need to need to try that one on the Harley you've got that sort of on the the bar view slightly to over over here so I've got more central view now so it'll be interesting when I upload this footage to see how it looks as well because that's the uh, the ugly mug shot you're gonna get on the return camera view uh, every time I'm out on this bike <clears throat> Jesus that wind's picked up and I wouldn't mind but yesterday was complete sunshine all day scorching a typical English one day of sunshine and then back to winter again but in all fairness it is still quite warm So what we're going to do is just head through this road and down it into Holmfirth and then Holmfirth, some of you will know that we've got the, the road of death which I hate going on on the Sportster because you're throwing off the seat more times than you're sitting on it and I always moan about it and try and avoid it because it's so shit. So this is going to be the ultimate test for my 220mm of rear suspension travel on the Triumph Tiger XCA. Oh yeah! So there's plenty of up and go when you need it with this bike, between 5th and 6th so just good to know and get used to the bike when you need that little bit of grunt to get past something in front so okay so I'll tell you what though usually by now I'm getting really pissed off and I've got white knuckle fingers from gripping on you see I'm bouncing up and down a little bit here but there's just no, no effort. Beautiful. I usually you come down these bends and then you can't see into Dove Stones, which is down there. And I'm sitting that low on the 48, you normally don't see it. You're getting a bird's eye view this time, folks.
you've got this beautiful little pull. See, I've got to reach to do that indicator. It's quite annoying, you know, when you want to pull left. <sighs> so from where I'm sitting, folks, on this bike, this is definitely a different kind of beast. So after putting a couple of hundred miles on this bike now, I can safely say that this bike is going to absolutely do everything intended for this year's tour. So it's going to cut the rough with the smooth, and that's why I bought this bike. So, apart from a couple of little issues, like I think I may have to raise the bar slightly, the indicator issue, which I may try and turn the controls a bit to compensate for that, everything else is absolutely spot on. So this is the first proper little test ride I've had of this bike and uh, I can safely say that I made the right choice, I think so. Roll on next week. So I'm not going to have probably a vlog out for a fortnight after this one but uh, you can capture all the antics on Instagram folks and Facebook on my Alcamoto page so if you're uh, on Instagram um, please look me up and follow me on that follow my Facebook page Alcamoto and uh, I must get by to update my web page as well so I'm sure I will when I've got all Highland stuff on from uh, this year but on that note from a deteriorating sky at Dovestone's Reservoir to my left through the trees. Uh, thanks for watching, folks. If this is the first time you're watching Alka Moto, please hit the subscribe button and uh, please like the video, share and comment if you dare. But on that note, Alka Moto, for now, is signing out. I'll see you in a bit, folks.